<laughs> we are live. Welcome to the Turaco Creative Cast. And we have a special guest, and we also have Professor Eggman <laughs> with us. <laughs> it's Captain Goggles. Yeah, we have uh, two Captain Goggles. <laughs> and we also have Peter Retro Palmiati back from his hiatus. So, again, welcome, everyone watching. Uh, That's right. I am back. I have uh, come down from the mountain. I've been on my vision <laughs> vision quest uh, as taking peyote and hang out with Indians and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds right, actually cool. Yeah, and we have Unlucky Jack in the chat. Thanks for checking this out, Unlucky Jack. Yo. He's lucky today because he's caught our yeah. live stream. Yeah. There you go. You lucked <laughs> out today, Unlucky Jack. All right, so if you're new on, on this channel, and I think you are Lucky Jack because <laughs> I haven't seen you, but I am Frank Salazar from the Salazar Art Nation. There's a link in the description to my YouTube channel. And my co-host here, I'm going to kick it off to her, Anna Rob. Greetings. Anna <laughs> Rob. And you can, I guess I'm, this is the part where I say where you can find me. You can mm -hmm. find me on Anna Rob Arts on Instagram and Anna Rob at YouTube. And there's like a link tree and all that stuff. But I think let's shift this over to our super special guest, Peter Palmiotti. He's working Woo hard here. <laughs> I'm doing something. <laughs> Maybe not working hard, but. <laughs> hey. Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. All right. So, so how you been, Pete? I know you were away for a while. Yeah, um, give or take three three months, whatever it's been. Um, oh, wow. Well, not not that not that long, maybe two and a half months. Um, but yeah, I just uh, took some time off. You know, I come from an era of working in comics where we didn't have internet, so I wanted to get just back into my old rhythm. Um, which is like one of the reasons why I, I took some time off, um, to where, you know, like I would, I was still communicating with people online and, and checking messages and talking to whoever, whoever sent me messages. Uh, but mostly I, I stayed off of, off of online and, um, you know, I only barely glimpsed at stuff here and there. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried to get into a more regular schedule and have a life outside of that. Um, and also, you know, there's, there's a lot more than just um, making art and doing comics uh, mm -hmm. that I want to accomplish. Um, you know, like one is like I want to learn um, you know, I've been an inker all my career, but I want to get into penciling. Um, so I, I picked up a bunch of books and had, I already have a bunch of books. Um, so I'm trying to just like get myself into a steady rhythm of um, not only reading art books, but re just general reading, um, something I used to do all the time. Um, but yeah, get, getting into drawing more and actually focused on improving my uh, skills in that. And um, well, you know, just because I've been inking <laughs> for the past uh, 30 years, um, uh, well, it'll be officially it will be 30 years in September, which is which isn't too far away. Um, <laughs> I uh, I just uh, got focused on my inking again because I didn't think it was up to snuff. Um, so I did a bunch of that. And I got a, 
another big part of it is like I got a lot of projects I'm a part of. Um, you know, I'm doing a graphic novel. Um, chosen few for the longest time. Uh, let me see. It's called Designated right now. So, <laughs> so I'm working on that. Um, working on the next issue of Hawk of New York with the creator, writer, artist, uh, which is uh, Randall Bishop. And um, I got my own project, of course, which is this is Retro. Um, this is Retro at Home, and that's his girlfriend. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's Retro at Home because he's got the old turntable. Let's see. Um, he's got actual books. <laughs> um, he's got a few, a few retro items in his apartment. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, just like, um, to refresh myself and, and reconnect with, uh, my skills and focus on expanding out beyond what I already know and, um, just sort of juggle my stuff better. Um, yeah, I'm also working on a story for a uh, wildcat anthology. Are you doing something for them, Frank? I forget if I saw you in there. I, I was, I had, I had volunteered to do something. And at, at that time I was doing, I think, uh, the Christmas nine volt. Okay. And when I was done with that, I started just working on, on, on some other, uh, projects. So I wasn't able to to be in it, but then I saw I just saw that CB Smallwood extended it for another four months. Like, like <laughs> okay, I guess I don't have any excuse. I should probably do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, and that's that's how a lot of them go uh, sometimes. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad we have more time. Although that kind of makes me lazy now. Like I was going to finish it by now, but now I have all this extra months. Ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, I've seen that too with the with the nine volts. Um, oh, we have plenty of time. Like, <laughs> and like, okay, I won't start work on it till the last month or the... <laughs> plenty of time up until the last minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be the but I didn't do the last one, the cos cosmic unknown, uh, but. Uh, might I ask mm -hmm. for a reminder on what the Wildcat Anthology is? Because I've been too busy uh, running through rainforests and chewing on trees. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> We'll talk about that if you want in a minute. Um, Peter, you want to fill her in? On the... uh, I mean, it's, it's just a character somebody created, and uh, there's a bunch of creators doing short stories using the character. Um so Wildcat, it's a werewolf character. Um, some cybernetics, some enhanced abilities, you know. Uh, but pretty much a, a werewolf type character. Um, I actually haven't read any stories he's been in. Um, but, you know, I, I've known the, the guy, the creator, a while online. And um, when he brought it up, I was like, Oh, that, you know, that sounds like fun. And because he brought it up where we could have other... Well, maybe it wasn't brought up that way. Um, I'm thinking back now. Um, I thought it was an opportunity for me to work with other people. So um, I think I immediately asked um, Abel... Um, Abel Parsons, if he wanted to uh, pencil in and do a story with me, and he was he was down, and um, I think uh, Lucifer Storm jumped in uh, as you know writer. Mm -hmm. So Lucifer writing, Abel pencil me inking. Um, I think Abel might do the lettering. I forget. We'll get somebody to letter and and 
do gray tones uh, if if none of us are. But um, yeah, that it would be a good collaborative effort between the three of us. And mm -hmm. um, Abel, Abel's pretty much, you know, I think he's on the last page of penciling, and I I gotta I gotta step up because <laughs> I don't want to wait to the last minute to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> So how does he get the pencils to you? Like he he would just scan them and you print them out. Or? Yeah, um, I think I might have. Let's see, is it here? Uh, maybe not. No, it's 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 behind me on my shelf. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just gonna. I got the digital files and and um, going to print them out and ink them. And I'm I'm sort of inking in black, and then I'm going to go back with uh, I have a a pen that let's see, and this is um where is it? Do, do, do. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's like it's like a white it has okay. white ink, not ink, but whatever it is uh acrylic and uh, but it's an ex it's an excellent excellent pen um yeah it's it's called the acrylic painter by Vosky v o i s k i e um it's something i i, I stole from my brother now my brother gave me um and, and I, I like it a lot um so, because I used to, I used to use acrylic paint in a little little bottle, and that was pretty much crap to work with. So, I was like, "Oh man, this is excellent! I got to use it for something." And and I thought this story would be perfect because um, Abel's very loose with his pencils, and I told him, "Be loose with your pencils," because I I'd rather work with work on somebody that's loose than somebody who's too tight. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun working over his pencils and, and go crazy with with stuff. <laughs> cool. It'll be, it'll be layers, yeah. Um, I will mention. I do want to mention. Um, I'm gonna be on a show tomorrow night to celebrate uh, my friend's Kickstarter. And uh, I did two pieces for it, two two prints that will be, um, what is it? Um, what do you call it when it goes? Um, uh, uh, beyond beyond the goal. Yeah, um, the tears. <laughs> Extension, I forget. <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 I think definitely this one, maybe the other one as well, will be part of that. Like you know, once he reaches his goal, then then people will be shooting for to make these uh, prints happen. Um, but this is a really nice one. This Carlos Ramos was the penciler. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's it, it's two characters he created. So that's Philip Ressard's, um Kickstarter going live tomorrow night starts at 11, ends at 10. We have like, I don't know, a dozen people besides me and him that will be on the show. And, you know, some will be on between eight and nine. I believe that would be me. And then other people will be on nine to 10. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. And I hope he, hope he does really well because he said um, he's going to get me and this other artist, Henry Martinez, who is a penciler, on a backup story for issue two on. So if issue one does really good, then I'll be doing his book regularly. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but uh, oh, other other top news. Um, Somebody I haven't spoken to in quite some time, the actual penciler of Retro, will be coming on my channel Friday at 7 p.m. Okay. to have a chat with me. Probably, probably like you know, whip me or <laughs> get get me to do the book faster or something. But uh, 
<laughs> he's he's a, he's a great great guy, excellent penciler. Uh, thrilled to have him, you know, as the artist on the first issue, even if he can't continue on. Um, and he's a great guy, and he's pencil he's painting now, so I'm sure okay. he'll talk a lot about what he's up to and all that jazz. Sounds really interesting. And uh, Dale yeah. asked, what's the channel for the Kickstarter launch? Um, that's, uh, Philip's channel is it's called CreatorCon Event. So CreatorCon okay. is one word and then event. Uh, and you can pretty much type that into YouTube and find his channel. Um, okay. He usually does a lot of interviews with other creators and everybody else doing their, their campaigns. Um, and actually, Philip you know, originally comes from uh, doing his own conventions out in New York. Recently, you know, a couple months back, started um, Legendary Illustrations, um, which is the group of uh, artists he reps, me being one of them. And now he's creating his own comics. So he's... He's not a kind of guy to just sit on the couch and, and do nothing. He's always mm -hmm. up to something. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, oh, cool. Uh, Dell went and got the YouTube channel. Good Thank job, you. Dale. Hey. Thanks, Dell. Yeah, go. Thanks, uh -huh. buddy. Yeah, I know we had a a, a private uh, stream, uh, and I know he was gonna be on, but I had to leave. Uh, I think Philip. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's there, right. Yeah, was, you were in that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I was there for for part of uh, Henry. It. Henry was there. In, yeah, in, Henry. I, yeah. yeah. Um. Henry was there. Um, I I'm going to forget. You know, it's like I do so many of these gatherings that I forget who's in what. But <laughs> but that's, it's it's always great just to talk shop or talk about nothing. Uh, creators and and you know a beat on how everybody's doing and all that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, one. Th one thing I wanted to bring up, and I, I don't know if you're in public with this, Frank, or if it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, but I, I saw, I saw something you wrote. <laughs> I saw something you wrote that said that you might not be doing comics. Oh, in the future. Uh, yeah. Was that a joke? A... <laughs> Half joking. Uh, just kind of like. <laughs> just go ahead. Yeah, so like I just want to like, man, I want to quit comics. <laughs> but no, I keep. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I want to finish. Like I want to do some of these projects that I'm doing, and then just kind of like, because uh, like, because like I'm I'm doing all these like little mini comics, and I want to turn them into like bigger comics. Uh, so like. Uh, so I'll, right now I'm doing the 30 days of making mini comics and I'm on uh, day 22, so I'm almost uh, done with that. So after that, I just kind of yeah. like slow down. Like, okay, that's mm. enough of the challenges. Like, I've I've done enough. I'm I'm doing the work, so I'm not worried about. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna do anything today. Like, okay, I just gotta focus on a bigger project because uh, we wanna do Captain Gagos and Mask Woman as an actual book. And uh, so we're gonna take some of those mini pages, and uh, either like take some of those, or or just like put them all together, and then make a book where uh, you know it's a bigger story. And uh, we, Anna and I have been talking about uh, behind the scenes. So it's like, okay, we want to focus on that, and then just kind of like step away from the other stuff for a little bit. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm still right. gonna make comments, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, but I'll probably like uh, like oh like I'll, I'll I won't work on something today, but uh, like I won't work on the comic today, but I'll do something comics related or like oh I just want to draw something to to draw, you know because like okay like I've been drawing Captain Goggles for I don't know how many months that so, like 
Let me draw something out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. No. Really trying to enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Pressure <laughs> yourself to, to perform. Yeah, yeah. It's more like uh, not just like doing doing it, but like liking the, what I'm doing. So like right now, um, it, it was kind of brought up in the Discord. Like they're talking about maybe doing cups for the creators in in the that did the nine vote. Like so, like you'll like the some of the creators there will be able to buy a cup with nine vote on them and i had suggested like why don't we do an original piece of all the characters but they were saying like well they don't really want to like put that task on someone to like create a whole piece so i said just on my own uh see if i can do a group photo i don't know it's go if it's gonna be like up to par but at least something to kind of give people an idea if they want to do it they can kind of use it as a reference and if not at least i did something a little bit bigger because I haven't don't really do group photos or you know big old uh, elaborate pieces. So this is something for me that that I'm doing uh, for fun. So right now I have a let me turn the my phone. So I got Captain Courage here and Greg Canuck, and this is Anna's uh, one of Anna's characters, Scruffy Let's from see. the Pope. So, so I left space here because I, I might draw the rest and then have her the girl character on top. Mm -hmm. uh, I might trick it down. Uh, so but right now I'm just uh, drawing them individually and then like I'll shrink them down and, and see who else I can fit in there. <laughs> That's a cool project. So, yeah. so it's something I'm doing on, on my own and then like Hopefully, when I have more done, I'll, I'll show it to the group. And, and, uh, yep, it's yeah. the cover for a giant crossover episode where all the characters are <laughs> <laughs> the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's always fun to do group shots. Um, mm -hmm. I, haven't done, I haven't done a lot of those. I, w I was actually going to do one for um, the V100s at one point, but Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it was, it was sort of that point when less people were interested in being a part of the group. <laughs> so I was okay. like, eh, forget, forget that idea. I'll do something else. <laughs> yeah, the, I I was gonna join the D one hundred. I joined the one on Facebook, and like, oh, I want to join the the Discord, and then that one disbanded. It became something else, and I'm not allowed <laughs> in that one for some reason. <laughs> like, yeah, come on, Mike, I mean, be in it. It's just a private. <laughs> you won't like it, Frank. It's just my friends and me. Like, Mike, come on, Mike, come on. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, I know what it is. It's it's a study group, and you know, it's oh, it's so I wouldn't like it. Yeah, it's kind of something we had for a while anyway, so. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, I mean <laughs> I don't I don't know how you find the time. I always see like, you know, whenever I pop into the Discord and check out the different uh ones I'm a part of, you're you know, you got like a thousand comments. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> yeah. everywhere at once. I don't even know how. <laughs> I, I used I used to be that active, and now I'm thinking like, uh, you know, it's fun, but at the end of the day, it doesn't add up to a lot of work done. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard for me to get work done when I'm on the internet. <laughs> Granted, I'm not on the internet probably enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like. The internet is an amazing place and, and, and tool. Um, and, uh, you know, definitely when, when you're putting together projects or artwork or whatever, and, and mm -hmm. you know, you have crowdfunders, it's, it's the most excellent thing to spread the word and, and all that. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, 
it's it's balance i i go back and forth i'm all over the place like you know it's like sometimes i'm really super engrossed in it in it and sometimes i just want to step away and you know i having just stepped away for a couple of months it's like man i miss like real vacations <laughs> it's like i'm already mm-hmm. looking looking forward to going swimming in the summer which isn't too far away it's like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I was just on a long hike up a, nice. a, in the area. That was like a four hour walk, but it was about a half hour, an hour and a half drive one way and then an hour and a half back. So it was pretty much the whole day. Right. Mm-hmm. That sounds like fun. Pretty exciting. Walking through the <laughs> rainforest. Ah, cool. Yeah, so, so you live in an area where you have a rainforest, right? Mm hmm. Cool. And then back at home, we pretty much, it looks kind of similar. There's a farm property. It's like, um, it's like a mile all the way around or something. And I was going around. My sister has like animals and stuff. It's a farm and, but it's still developing and it was used for World War II dairy farming, but oh, okay. there's electric fences up now and I couldn't figure out where the gates were. And so I just army crawled underneath <laughs> with the, the machete on my back and then went off into the forest. And I'm like, huh, well, I think I'll find a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up yes. a bunch of blackberries that were um, sort of approaching the the farmland area off into the woods and chopped down a, cu- a couple little saplings and then also a maple tree that was about that big around and the cambium layer you can chew on and it's mildly sweet with a slight like maple flavor if you chew on it a batch which was an oh, interesting cool. experience uh so then i actually went and pickled blackberry shoots oh <laughs> because why not And there's no internet on that. That's cool. But yeah, I just kind of do stuff. I, uh, when I came back though, I did a bunch of reading. I've been doing, I think, more reading the last couple months than I have in the rest of the year. And I kind of look forward to continuing to expand that reading. And lots of bird books, edible plant books, science books, um, all kinds of things business <laughs> yeah <laughs> when i other than art books when i say reading i, I read a lot of fiction so <laughs> mm. okay. i had yeah. someone try to recommend a bunch of fiction to me and i'm like oh i'm so behind on reading actual fiction <laughs> i need to take yeah oh. i mean i've done narnia all the way through uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, and a batch of comic books. Um, yeah. But yeah, keeping busy. I got uh, some more work done for the N Star Arrival comic while I was down there too because I didn't have the internet and I was just like, all right, I brought my iPad and I wanted to get work done. And then I worked for the, a while on that. And then I jumped over and was working on what I'm working on for the nine volt manga anthology now. So drawing more dragons, griffins, writing out the story. I did a fair bit of writing, but by hand. So now I've got to like voice to text it or just transcribe it. That way I can play with it digitally. Oh. Right. Because I still find myself writing a lot uh, by hand, which I think is good. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I prefer actually writing by writing by hand than the, than by typing it out. So. Oh, and uh, while I was spending pretty much, oh, I spent the night down at that farm property too. Um, so about two whole days and a whole night. But I was doing a research project while reading the edible plant books and going mm. through. All right, in my experience growing up, this is what my dad raised me. Uh, what he taught me while I was growing up and 
I'm just kind of making this list now. This is this is just a picture of the seasons from the internet. I didn't make that, but I'm making the tables and stuff. And there's mm-hmm. all kinds of things, how to use them, risks, and uh, risk prevention, temperatures to cook certain things, and all of that. Lots of data. And then I want to make recipes with them because. There's some stuff that I could see some good potential for. Ooh. As I lose track of my pencil. <laughs> I, uh, my dad taught me how to bowl. Wow, how to <laughs> bowl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think. Uh. I'm kind of rusty on bowling, but, you know, you're supposed to get, like, all the pins down. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm I'm rusty too, but um, it's it's like the one sport I love. Like I like I like playing basketball if it's not like a real game, just like messing around and trying to mm-hmm. get it in the hoop, and you know that, um, you know, and and I've had like fun with soccer when I was younger, you know, as long as it's not a real game, I'm like all for it. Once it becomes a real game, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to suck. So you guys play. (laughs) I don't think I've ever like completed a real game of soccer or like soccer, basketball. I've never played football for real. I've played with a football, but back in school, do it too i'd also get totally distracted i'd be like oh a bug oh a butterfly and then people would be like no we don't want you on our team (laughs) but why i was like uh teacher teacher can you take a picture of this weird bug so i can have it at the end of the school year in the yearbook (laughs) and she's like um um." (laughs) <laughs> yep. <laughs> and yeah, to this day. Oh, a bug. <laughs> yeah. No, I got to I, I got to say like my father did teach me more than just bowling, but uh, you know, <laughs> he he's the one that got me and Jimmy into comics, really. At a oh, young cool. age, took us took us to our first like comic convention and mm. encur- encouraged us to go to more and and buy comics, you know, on a regular basis and all that. Uh, he was he was for whatever reason because it had art in it. I don't know. Like my father, he he co ran a, a paint store, um, but he was a bit of an artist. And uh, it was just something he did for fun. Um, but I remember, like, in, in his store, he did, he's the one who did all the signs. So he had a, a sense of design. You know? mm. um, but, he, you know, like, at home, he would just doodle horses and cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. I've never been to a comic convention officially. I went to a reptile convention once. <laughs> yeah. I pushed into comics through Calvin and Hobbes and other um, Gary Larson's Far Side and Garfield's newspaper funnies, Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that is really like. Uh, we had we had comics at our, our local um, hair cu- cutting place, um, but my father brought home three or four newspapers every almost every day, and I'd hit the comic section, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I grew up I grew up on all of them, and uh, yeah, just gla- my eyes glazed over the artwork and. I read as much as I could and, you know, got into it a lot. Nice. Cool, yeah. Yeah, like I would I would uh, go to the papers and first, just main thing, comics, comic strips. <laughs> Usually the Sunday funny. Yep. 
Yeah, I, I remember they, you know, like my time when I was reading, like they had, they had Spider-Man by a really good artist. Um, they had Star Wars. They had, you know, like some popular things. Um, but I read all the all the comics with good art first, <laughs> and then and then everything else. Like you know, as the years went on, there were a lot a lot more crappy artists doing comic strips. Um, it's like yeah. nobody nobody cared about the 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 craft anymore. <laughs> yeah, I started seeing a change in the art style. Oh. One could Jeremy probably Dilbert. research on that try to, to write a thesis on why they think that might be well I, I know like you know you always hear stories like it's hard to get into the syndication of it all mm -hmm. um, and it's it's not it's not the high quality stuff that that people love it's the, the middle of the road stuff so <laughs> you know, as the as the bar lowered, uh, <laughs> so, so did the uh, artistic talent. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, th I think it was more a question of like, it's easier to turn out a hundred mediocre art work style strips really fast than than doing you know hardcore illustration. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Yeah. I finally mm -hmm. potted up the mango behind me. I feel like there should be little, um, like, clips from the live streams, just, like, it getting a little bit bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> um... Should make a chart. <laughs> the new leaves, they always flop like they're floppy like this mm -hmm. until they grow a bit bigger and then they pop up like this. I don't really know why, but apparently that's something that both mangoes and avocados seem to do. Uh, it, seem, it seems like the, the all the leaves have more thickness mm -hmm. so they hold, you know, sturdy better. A stronger vascular system. <laughs> now I have oh. bark. Uh, Len says the original Spider-Man cartoon hooked me. That and a neighborhood kid who drew kind of characters. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I loved all the early like Marvel comic cartoons, even the horrible ones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I remember really, really liking Ultimate Spider-Man. And then we watched a wide variety of other ones. Another memorable one was Justice League, of course. But we didn't watch a ton of TV. Mostly, like, before school. Yeah, I always remember coming home from school and watching whatever was on. But, you know, when when I was going through school, it was like, I come home and it was Flintstones, Jetsons, mm -hmm. Josie and the Pussycats. I don't even know, like <laughs> a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, I remember seeing the Jetsons and the Flintstones as a as a little kid. Yeah, that's something my parents saw too. So it must have been pretty long running, maybe, unless it was rerun. It was probably rerun. Yeah, it was all real. <laughs> yeah. Explain it. They, they only had three cartoons now. <laughs> <laughs> they played over and over and over. I pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow my childhood and mine never noticed. <laughs> Just as the unlimited. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, the variety show of uh, Flintstones, Pebbles and Bam Bam variety hour. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. When they were older. Yeah. Yep. 
and like three different versions of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a few of them now. Mm-hmm. I got um I got HBO Max now, and I saw the other day they got um nice. uh Young Justice, the Young Justice cartoon. So I never saw the whole thing, so I could watch it from the beginning again. Oh yeah, I did see that. I think it. I don't. I don't think I don't know if I've seen it all or if it ended like on a cliffhanger. Probably a cliffhanger. <laughs> Young Justice. I thought it was cool. I like I like seeing Superboy there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, so let's see. I might as well ask, since you've got a bunch of projects that you're working on, um, do you have a little bit of advice on project management? Oh. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> don't, don't manage. The, the best thing to do is do one project at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, if, I, if I had my way, I, w- I would only be working on one thing right now. Um, and it's really like a lot of stuff I've had around for years. I'm finally catching up on. And um, yeah, it's, it's like maybe one or two things is fine, you know, even three. But anything above that is insane. Um, because you, you want to maintain quality and interest. You know, I could see why people just don't do one thing a lot of times, you know, mm-hmm. because if you do, if you're working on one thing over and over and over every day, it, it, you lose a little interest, you get a little bored. Um, so it's fun to break it up with something else entirely different, maybe. Um, but if you really want to ba- balance too many projects, month after month after month it's it's you know it doesn't do anybody good service it's like you know i it's like i know why my career is the way it is <laughs> and it's a result of of my bad habits um so a lot of what i want to accomplish this year and uh you know we're already like almost halfway through um <laughs> it is just to clean up and get some stuff out that hasn't you know come out yet which is you know retro is definitely coming out this year i don't have a set date i'm not gonna worry about that i'm just gonna get it done um you know then i have some other books that have been sitting around waiting for me to get them done and you know that's really what I want to do, uh, not that I, I'll get to everything, mm-hmm. but I'll, I'll at least start knocking stuff off my list. Um, cause I would like, like to get to a, a time where I'm, you know, really focused on retro and hopefully it, it does better and better as time goes on. Nefarious. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. He had a um, his his uh, wife reveal the other day. Yeah. So, frequency girl. Whoa. She did the face reveal, which yeah. uh, she was following me. I know she follows us uh, both of us on uh, on our Instagrams. I didn't realize that that was her because she had like an old picture of her and Neff, and I was like, I wonder who this young couple is. <laughs> like they are always liking my stuff, and then like I clicked on it, and was like, I just saw this face on a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's who, that's who that is. <laughs> yep. Someday I'll do a face reveal when I take off this mask. <laughs> <laughs> and the fairy says, "What's up, Pete? So glad to see you hanging out on the YouTube again." Yep. Yeah. 
I'm here tonight. I'll be on a CreatorCon event tomorrow night. Then I'll be on my channel uh, sometime Wednesday. I'll, I'll do a stream on my channel. And then Ooh. Friday, Friday, the Artist of Retro is coming to my channel, 7 p.m. So that'll be fun. That's cool. I'll check that out. Yeah, I'll try to yes. check that out. I'm taking notes. <laughs> yep. Uh, his name is Rich Fisher. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. And I, n I never asked him if that's his stage name. Fisher. That's that's oh, his last name. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe. Or well, like Stan Lee's real name is... Uh... Lieberman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, my my real last name is Johnson. Uh, I just wanted something exotic, so I went with Salazar. Is that true? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm a white guy. No. Yes. Yes, but actually, no. No. <laughs> it's Fra it's Frank Jones. St st yeah. <laughs> keeping with the Joneses. <laughs> <laughs> My real last name is actually just Rob. <laughs> Rob. My my last name is Bond, James Bond. <laughs> ah. A pleasure to have you with us, Bond. James Bond. Shaken, uh, not stir. So Pete, you're a Kevin Smith fan. Uh, are you gonna check out the Kevin Smith He Man? show uh is he writing it what, what is that i didn't hear about I it think, well he's a showrunner he's a showrunner um it's like a modern really or the version yeah yeah there's actually two versions that they're doing on netflix one is more for the fans which uh, kevin smith is the one that's a showrunner and one is more geared towards kids and uh, uh so it's like Fantasy sci-fi uh, mixed. They just announced the the toys for them, or they just revealed the toys uh, for them. So, uh, I think I I think I saw like the artwork for the for the one that the kids show, and I was like, well, that looks bizarre. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was but, watching uh, uh, Conquest TV, and they showed the toys, and they're saying it's, it looked like Rescue Heroes, uh, oh. with, like the big bulky body. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay, I quit. <laughs> but the Ken Smith one, the art looked good. Uh, it's a, I don't know who does the art, but it's a, a team that he that they hired. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, well, um, well, say I, I saw, um, I watched the uh, Invincible cartoon on Amazon Prime, and that was fantastic. And um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Seth Rogen was like a, a one of the producers. And I gotta say, anything like you could like his movies or not or whatever, but anything he's produced seems to be pretty fantastic. Because he he produced the uh, Preacher series, and that was freaking fantastic. Mm. Um, and now he's produced the. Uh, Invincible cartoon on Amazon, and uh, it's it's really good. Um, okay. It's bloody as hell, you know. It's a violent cartoon, <laughs> but then you know, preacher isn't for kids either. So, touche. <laughs> oh, okay, so I can't watch it then. No, <laughs> you'll be. You'll be uh, Rocking back and forth in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I saw some of the clips for in in Invincible. I was like, "Wow, that's pretty bloody." <laughs> I was like, Man. Yeah, yeah. The the comic was pretty much that. I mean, you know, it's like the creator of Walking Dead. So, what do you expect? Oh yeah, um, what's Robert name? Kirkman. Robert Kirkman, yeah. Which he did Battle Pope. Yeah, and uh, 
I remember when when that was coming out. I I never uh, like I never read it because like a lot of stuff I would have to like go to the shops and and like I still didn't know where the shops were. So it was just just finding one that carried stuff I liked was a, a chore. Uh, but I met like that. That battle pub looked looked interesting because actually at the time I was uh, drawing a character, a superhero character, which was a, a priest. So I called him Phantom Priest. Uh, and I never did anything uh, with it, but I was like at a time that I was I was like just drawing it. Uh, then I heard I see like Battle Pope uh, coming out. I was like, oh man, I could I could have done something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw Battle Pope and I was like, what is this crap? <laughs> yeah, I never read it, but it looked interesting because like the Pope is like all buff. <laughs> Cyburn says Seth Rogen question mark <laughs> yeah because he produced Invincible it's cool like I know he was producing animation yeah um, I know Netflix has got season two of um, what is it Robot, Robot Sex and Violence <laughs> I don't know <laughs> whatever it's called um, I haven't seen that. Love death it, it's robots. yeah, death, death and robots. Um, Love death and robots. It reminds me of like I grew up on MTV and they had uh, Liquid TV at night, which was all these weird cartoons. Uh, Ian Flux comes from Nat Batch. Oh, okay. um, yeah, so it reminds me of that, and and it's just like different directors and, and animators doing like short stories and some some of them are, are pointless but all of them are fun f for one reason or another you know just visually doing different things mm -hmm. so it's, it's pretty much like an anthology <laughs> makes sense yeah speaking of anthologies Yes. <laughs> can pick up Nine Volt Pulp, and uh, there's a link in the description. The link trees uh, Nine Volt comic, so you can pick up all the Nine Volt anthologies available on Lulu.com. But so cool. I recommend this one because this is Anna Rob's first published story, and this is her character. <gasps> no, uh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the uh, scruffy that I'm that I'm drawing over here. Uh, yeah, a centipede sword. Nice. Uh, which uh, I was looking for. Oh, uh, here it's scruffy for reference. Uh, there it is. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to check out, see that how the legs were. Oh, okay, you like chicken legs. <laughs> it's my sister's favorite character out of everything oh, yeah. so far. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, like it's funny what, what it's funny what like you know, family of artists. They like the weirdest things, you know. It's like you could be so proud of something, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool," <laughs> you know. <laughs> but then, but then they'll latch on to something you did, and like that was throwaway, and like, "Oh, I love that." <laughs> yeah, go away. <laughs> Cyber says, "What's with LDNR and the uncanny art styles?" LDNR. Oh, Love, Death, and Robot? Never seen it. I haven't watched it, but I read one story from it, I believe, that was about, like, a swimming pool cleaner robot artist. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was a, that was a good one. Um, it's It's got all star, styles, not just Uncanny Art Styles. I don't, I don't <laughs> know if... <laughs> I, I assume you're talking about like X-Men style um, 
I'll have to check out the new season for sure. Um, one thing I watched on Netflix recently was the, um, the comic made into a TV show, which was um, Jupiter's Legacy. Okay, that yeah. was really that was really good. Um, that was super well done. Although I would I would have said I think it was I think it was seven episodes. I could be wrong, but they should have not done the last episode. <laughs> My opinion. Okay. So Wolf. this is a Cyburn's story in in the Pulp edition. Nice. Wolf. Hyperrealism Wolf. in some of the shorts. Ah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's better hyper realism is better than I don't know, like Netflix chooses certain styles when it comes to their cartoons. Um like mm -hmm. I love Godzilla, but I couldn't watch the the Godzilla cartoons on on Netflix. It was like yeah, this isn't clicking with me. Um, but then Castlevania is, is phenomenal um, cartoon on, on their streaming service. Um, and they got it. I forget the title of the other cartoon. It, the same people doing it. It's more Frank's work. Yeah. Which is bad at Canadian dude. <laughs> yeah. This is actually one of my least favorite panels that I did. Ooh. And I've talked about uh, this before when I was working on this story. Uh, my tablet kept glitching, mm -hmm. so I lost mm -hmm. a page that I just finished working on. I remember and, that day. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that That anthology is giving me so many, so many problems. Cool down. <laughs> yeah. You got this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I lost the page, but but there was a part of it saved. Like it saved in the in a thumbnail version, mm -hmm. but if I click on it, it wouldn't save. So I did a screenshot of it. <laughs> so I had to go <laughs> go over it, and I salvaged some some panels. You like, made oh, it man. work. Yeah. It's, it's still one of my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's it's. I, I mentioned this recently. I really need like, you know, if I ever make enough money, just to have a IT person on on call. <laughs> yeah, I run into issues all the time. I was like, come on, I just, I just turned this off. What what changed? Why do I need to fool around with this for a half hour now? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. So, oh, we're actually about to near the hour. It's 58 minutes. Uh, all right. That's right. Yeah. How'd that happen? Is there Fun anything else fly. you want to... Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to... Go over it quickly, or um, just that um, you know, I'm I'm back, and you know, I don't I don't have a set schedule, but I'll uh, be streaming at least a couple of times a week. Uh, so go to my YouTube channel and, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to watch mm -hmm. all uh, 626 past episodes. Uh, and, and give me a book report. Um, all of them. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Um, let's see. My my Instagram is slowly crawling up. I got like eighteen hundred people following me there. Um, my Twitter is slowly crawling up. I just passed. Uh, what is it? Twenty nine hundred there. You know, I, oh. I really. You know, I've had for years. I've had. 5,000 people I'm, I'm connected with on Facebook, you know, 5,000 close personal friends. Um, mm. 
<laughs> but you, yeah, but you you can you can you know like like my studio page. Uh, although I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if Facebook has has the magic it used to. Um, but uh, you know, I'm not getting rid of it. I'll still use it, and ho hopefully, it will do me do me well in the future. You know, damn those analytics and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm happy to be coming back to YouTube and uh, happy to be uh, connected with friends there. And I got a bunch of de uh, guests that want to come on. And so I'll be scheduling mm. people as well as just doing my own thing, which is working on retro right now and other things in the future. Cool. For sure. Yep. And uh, Anna, where can we find you? <gasps> On the link tree, and at Anna Rob Arts on Instagram, and Anna Rob on YouTube, and largely right here at the Toronto Creative Cast. Also, I actually do exist over at what? the. <laughs> I actually exist. Uh, the AAA Creator Discord, which there probably is a link to it somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, there's a link in the in the description. We'll hang out that do the nine volt anthology. Look, he's smiling. All right. Robot centipede sauropods that make brick walls. Nice. <laughs> and this has been the Truckle Creative Cast where you can't spell Truckle without A R T. You can find me in my link tree. I got a whole bunch of stuff there. I also have my uh, my YouTube channel, Salasad Art Nation. Instagram, Salasad Art Nation. Again, on Twitter, I go by Nation Salasar. Uh, I do have a Facebook. Uh, I don't know if it's in the link tree, but you just look up Frank Salasad and you'll, you'll find me on Facebook. And if you want to support me, support the channel, you can go to my coffee account uh, and donate. You can, if you, uh, you can donate the minimum of $3 or more. It's up to you. And you, I actually send you some uh, PDF comics. And I do have, uh, uh, I think, at least one new one that, <laughs> that, that's up there uh, that, that I can send out. Uh, for those of you that I haven't sent out any anything uh, before, so uh, so yeah, you can find me there. There's also a Turaco, uh Teespring store where you can get a Turaco T-shirt, a mug, and uh, some some other cool uh, stuff. Just check out the store. You can get a Make Comics Not Excuses T-shirt, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Also, the fairy says, <laughs> "The fairy says you can't spell Drago without Taco." Yeah, was... <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier. I almost, I almost did say it, but uh, yeah. I'll say it. I'll say it when we close, which we're totally closing uh, right now. Huge yeah. thank you to our special guest Peter Palmiotti, and a huge thank you to Woo! everyone who joined us today. Thank you for joining the Taraco Creative Cast, where you can't spell Taraco without taco. <laughs> there we Thanks, go. everybody, for coming by. Woo! Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. I, and I love the art.